Hi guys, Brick Matt here, and uh, I just want to talk about a couple of changes I've made to the town, my displays, and um, that I'm going to be a tad busy over the next few weeks. I have got reviews still to do, I'm going to get those done, ready, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be busy. Because uh, after eight years of living in this apartment, I've decided it is time to redecorate. So, so I've got a mark there where one of my sofas used to be. And uh, I've got all these old cable clips and ho various holes in the wall where I've had things mounted on the wall. And where I've gone and taken things down. It's not just this room, it's all over the apartment, you know. Well, I've changed things and reconfigured shelving and whatnot. So uh, I've already been round with the filler and filled up all the holes I can. But yeah, it's going to be a big task because obviously I've got to take these shelves off the wall. I've got to take those lights down. Floodlights have got to be disconnected. This is going to have to be dismantled and packed away safely for a day or two. Um, but I don't think I'm actually going to change the position of these shells. I might see if I can find a similar piece of wood to stick in there to fill that gap. So I've got one long continuous shelf. And if I do that, it's going to be a different colour piece of wood. So I may end up painting it so it all just matches. I don't care if it matches the top shelves. I just want these ones to match. Um, so yeah, big job, <laughs> but I will have help, but uh, it means uh, I'm going to have to put a few things on hold for a few weeks. Um, anyway, I've only made one change in the town, let me just move these LPs out of the way. We don't need these up here, do we? As you can see, up this end, the freight line has disappeared from the freight yard, because as I said, that's all going to be different. Um, well, I say different, it's just going to continue the road round to somewhere here. Wherever, wherever the last road plate I can fit in ends is where it's going to end. So it'll be like a little cul-de-sac. Because I'm going to put all the residential houses up this end and then go into all the, the shops and things all up this end. Um, what I've done with the siding, the point I took out of here that went round to the freight yard line is now down at this end. So I can take a train on and off the siding at either end, which actually makes shuffling between my two trains that I've got so far a lot easier. Yeah, and I've got junk everywhere on this table again. Um, As for the displays, this is one change I've made. These larger sets were on this shelf. I've put them up there for a reason. Because all these vehicles were all in single file all along the front of this top shelf. Which meant I had a lot of wasted space behind them. So to try and optimise the space a bit more. I don't know if you can see, but on this shelf... I've pretty much filled it from the front of the shelf to the wall of all those 70s and 80s little vehicles. And that is what I'm going to do with this one, but that's on hold. Because there's no point in me doing that when I've got to take the shelf off the wall to paint it anyway. So uh, I figured I'll just leave that one as it is and sort that once we've got the wall painted and the shells back up which I can do myself I don't think I'll need uh, stepdad's help for that I'll put them up there in the beginning on my own so they're not heavy anyway I've got two new shelf units here which I think looks a lot better than that old cabinet I had here and I was going to paint them black to match this lot 
But I don't think I will. I think I will leave them as it is. Because I think the models stand out a bit better. Although a friend of mine did suggest I could have painted the inside white. Or perhaps left the inside. Which is another idea. I could just leave the inside and just paint the outside black. But uh, I think I'm happy with them as they are. But, uh, I've got reviews on these three S Speed Champion sets to do. I think they're the only ones so far that I've got to do. Um, yeah, the reviews are, will still keep coming, but there's not going to be much in the way of a, a city update. Because uh, I don't really want to do a lot if I've got to pack it up and uh, move it. Although, we're going to start in the bedroom first but uh, this fl this whole apartment is just looking so untidy and so uh, look at all the paint work it's meant to be white not this faded color that's how it took how it goes after uh, eight years eight years I've lived here almost eight years on the 29th of this month long long time um, yeah don't think there's anything else I want to add oh hang on I sort of started to build the rock face that is a real tedious job I don't think I could uh, get into landscaping with Lego too much because it really <laughs> it's been sitting like this for about a week because it is just it's a tedious job it really is I don't like it my table's not quite in there straight it needs to go that way a little bit and, uh, I'm happy with the actual layout of the town. I just want to get the boards. I am seriously getting tired of looking at the wood. <laughs> I just want to get the whole lot base plated. But uh, my local store that sells Lego hasn't got any base plates in anymore. So, because they were selling the green ones. Not anymore. And them green base plates over there need a good dust down. I think I may end up washing a lot of these before I put them back. It's my fault. I should actually dust it a bit more often than what I do. But again, that is another tedious job to do. But anyway. And I'd totally forgotten what I needed for that hospital. Oh, and I was actually going to just reconfigure that a little bit. So it's not taking up so much room. Um, I don't know. I might reconfigure it or I might just leave it as it is and continue as I am. So I was just thinking that it takes up two 32 by 32 base plates. And I was just thinking, you know, I don't have much building room. So do I really want a building that big in here? Maybe I should shrink it a little bit, try and squeeze it onto one base plate, maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Or should I leave it as it is? That's going to be the new home for the cycle shop. I'm going to need some ideas for other shops to put in here. There's the gas station, but I'm not sure the larger vehicles are going to go through there. I might eventually build my own mock gas station and put that one up there. Actually, no. In fact, I think I will. I really just put that in there as like a little placeholder anyway. Yeah. So, as I said, what do you guys think I should do with the hospital? Should I shrink it down a little bit? I don't want to get rid of that design too much because I do like this frontage. So I would like to keep that design. But perhaps take that section off. 
you see from the big doors back take that off possibly that's my uh, that's my idea I don't know I think I'll just have to take that out of there and have a play around but uh, input is welcome what do you think I should do with it or should I just leave it as it is and continue and correct my error on this corner I should have a um, rounded corner brick right there like under there and I forgot to put it in <laughs> Oops. Because I don't think, well this is only going to be a dinky little town anyway, so I don't think we need a hospital that size, so. That's the whole reason I shrunk down the fire station, because I think I made that four bays originally. It was either four or three, I can't remember. No, it was on one of those big grey base plates. Before I shrunk it to fit it on a 32 by 32. Oh yeah, and that reminds me, I've still got to get plates for the or tiles for the inside of that. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. As always, input is welcome. Ideas, comments, advice, all that is welcome in the comments. And uh, I will talk to you all again soon. Bye bye.